make the good times last. Caitlin! Big Steve! I was just thinking of more efficient ways to, um, squeeze lemons? Yeah, I'm on my way to the Calgary Stampede. Wow. Now, you take real good care of the lemon and bring sales up. And I'll have a bonus with your name on it. Yeah! Really? Yep. That's if I don't lose all my money on the cow lottery. The cow lottery? Yeah. They'll have a great big bull loose, and folks bet on where he's gonna drop his load. I'm real good at it. Got a real good sense for poop. I likes me the poop. Ew. Okay, then. Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, here's that info about how bacteria breeds in hot tubs and all the ways it can get into your body. Yes. Why do you want that anyway? It's disgusting. That is exactly why I want it. Thanks. Guess what? My parents said we could use the hot tub for our sleepover party. We are so hooked up. Sorry, Nikki, but you're not invited. What's this? Oh. 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 Nicely done. Sometimes they just make it too easy. <laughs> There you go. Now watch this a couple times and see if you don't feel better. You can rise above this. See you tomorrow. What's wrong with her? She just got canned from her job as an ad exec, so I sent her home with Working Woman. The one where the chick steals her boss's job and her boyfriend and then gets her thrown in jail? Yep, she's gonna be all right. Wanna rent How to Fix My Boyfriend in 10 Days? Sucks. Well... How about South American Pie? Sucks. Hmm. Sucks. <gasps> oh, so I guess you know exactly what movie we should watch tonight. As a matter of fact, I do. I'd say you've been dating for, what, two weeks? Three? How'd you know? Irrelevant. I've got just the movie for you. Legally bland. The perfect film for this particular stage in your relationship. Light fair that navigates the waters of love while subtly introducing an undercurrent of commitment. Not bad. We'll take it. He recommended a film for us and it totally saved our relationship. Yeah, I was gonna dump him. Wow, how do you do that? What can I say, man? It's a talent. Hey, can you help Serena and I get back together? I need a movie that will make her see that I'm the guy for her. Let it go, dude. I don't do staff. Plus, she broke up with you and fired you. Come on, man. You're the only one who can help me. That's probably true, but I don't do staff. <sighs> What are you doing? My blender just died. Or was murdered? What's with the effort? That's not like you. Because if I'm blenderless, I won't get my bonus, and I'll never get that cute camisole I picked out. Ah, oh, that's more like it. If I come up with anything, I'll let you know. Thanks. <laughs> You're good at taping sticks. Assassin! I know that look! That's love on the job. Drop and give me 50. <sighs> yes, coach. I hope for your sake you can do 50. Love uh, will make uh, me strong. Another 50 for saying the word love. You just said it. Darn it. You're right. 50 for me, too. Hup, 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 hup. Yeah. Feels good. Hup, hup, oh. hup. Let me guess. Wayne here recommended a life changing movie to you two. Mm hmm. Don't choke on each other's tongues. What flew up your butt? Nothing, except that you could save me from a lifetime of loneliness by telling me what movie to watch. Tell you what, I'll give you free air guitar lessons. Come on, man, you have some freaky video superpower. True. And you could use it to help me get my girl back. Unless you think you couldn't come up with anything. Huh, a weak attempt at challenging my movie manhood. 
All right, fine. I'll bite. Really? All right. Whatever. Jude! Jude! I'm coming! I'm coming! Don't leave me in here overnight again. We're not closing. I want you to grab a video for Pathetica over here. Video number... 01685. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling better already. This'll help you. Now leave me alone. So, what's it like being a waiter at El Sporto? Eh, okay. Nothing special. Maybe I'll come by for lunch. No, I mean, you're better off in the food court. Well, what sports uniform do they make you wear? Not important. Ugh, this is one bad lemonade. My blender died, so I had to get creative. <clears throat> this movie, my friends, is going to solve all my problems with Serena. Are you talking about Serena, Serena? As in, you're fired and I never want to see you again, Serena? Come on, guys. I think it'll give us some valuable insights. Watch it with me and tell me what you think. Sure, why not? I'll call Jen. Sure. Huh. A movie sounds good. Mm. We'll be there. Oh. Yeah. Hey, want to hang with my friends? Masterson, give me another 50. Pronto. Oh. Coach Halder told me to take lunch now. Guess I'll see you later. Can't feel my arms. Oh. Jen's in. Meet you there? Okay. You know, you'd look really good in a dress like that. Oh, so what I'm wearing isn't nice enough for you? Uh-oh. No, I mean, yes, it is. I, I... So what, now that we're, like, dating, it's okay for you to tell me what to wear? Nice. Hey, wait, I was giving you a compliment. Uh... Lemon smoothie coming up. I know how you feel, little buddy. Aren't there any chicks under 30 in this flick? I don't know. This is a good part. What? Wait. That was so cute. Those old ladies worked so hard on that garden. And did you see how cute they were in their matching flower hats? The only thing more boring than watching old people is watching old people gardening. So what do you think it means for Serena and me? That's easy. Nothing. I think it means you're really boring. <sighs> Want to go to the junior dance with me next week? <laughs> sure. Masterson! I know. You're skating on thin ice, Masterson! That's 600 push-ups this week alone! Ah, good work, Dobbs. How come you never get... Busted. I don't know, honey. Guess I'm just lucky. I'll see you later. Ooh. Hey, honey, there's no strength left in my upper body. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> and they say Coach Halder's groin has never been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Jonesy has to work tonight. Where is he? I'm starving. <laughs> there he is. In a skirt. It's a <laughs> kilt. Oh, <laughs> wow. You look really good in that. But you know what would look even better? A blue sundress. Oh, ha ha. Everyone has to wear a sports outfit here, remember? What sport are you supposed to be? Field hockey. <laughs> <laughs> All the guy sports were taken. Except for cross country dressing. <laughs> do you guys want to order or what? Uh, do you have chicken legs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well done. Wayne, what is the point of this movie you gave me to watch? Dude, if I tell you, you won't learn anything. Plus, I'm busy. But it doesn't make any sense. If you can't figure it out, then you don't deserve to have titles on the staff picks shelf. No! Okay, I I'll figure it out. I have a new staff pick. Plenty of room up there now. Let's see it. Radical Pool Party 2. I want you to think about what you just said. Hmm. Uh, okay, this is hopeless. I'll never get my bonus. Your blending troubles are over. They are? Check it out. Who needs a blender when you've got an industrial fan? Nice 
Nice work, Jude. So now that you've had some time, what do you think that movie means? Still nothing. I think it means you and Serena were meant to be together forever. You know what? That's it! You have to tell her. Hold on. Wyatt, it's just a movie. Yeah, but you don't know the power of Wayne. The man does give sick advice. This is crazy. She broke up with you. The movie gods have spoken. You've got to win Serena back. What? You're right. I'm going to do this. Oh. <clears throat> Attention, Attention everyone. everyone, this is a this message, is a message for Serena at Spinness. <gasps> Serena, it's Wyatt. I know you're here today because I saw you stacking the new releases. Stalker. I can't stop thinking about you. And I really want you to give me one more chance. I'll wait for your answer as long as it takes. Mm. All I need is a yes mm. or no. Oh, no. If you could just, you know, shout out an answer. I'll just wait here and listen. Uh, oh, okay. Um, that's it, I guess. They never listen. What's taking so long with that display, Masterson? Sorry, Coach. My arms are so tired. Whoa! Are you okay, honey? No, I'm not okay. I've done like 700 stupid push-ups for you. My arms are noodles. Cute noodles? Noodles aren't cute. They're soft and droopy. How come you don't do any push-ups? Uh, why would I do them if you didn't make me? Oh, I don't know. Because you're a guy and you should act like a man? Jen, you know I have baseball tryouts coming up. I can't be overworking my arms for no reason. No reason? Oh, Dobbs! Could you come over here and show me that swing of yours? <laughs> yes, Coach. <laughs> That's an interesting technique. And surprisingly dangerous. Hey, Jen! Nikki and I were thinking of inviting Charlie to our movie night. You know, since he's sort of part of the gang now. Part of the gang? Sure, we all agreed he's in. The guy brings the funny. Do you know what he puts on his hot dogs? Nothing. It's just a wiener and a bun, and that's it. And that laugh, it's so annoying. Do you know he calls me honey? Honey, do the push-ups for us. Honey, I have baseball tryouts. Ooh, wish him luck for me. Ah! Mm. How you doing? Great. Never felt better. I know what would make you feel better. An orange mocha stimulate. <laughs> Hurry up, Caitlin. He's almost finished his last one. Uh, don't you think he's had enough? No. Drink this, Wyatt. It'll help dull the sting of rejection. Feeling better? I don't know. I am more twitchy. That's a good sign. Okay, I've got to get back to the lemon. Continue stimulate consumption until he's no longer thinking of you know who. <sighs> drink, Wyatt, drink. <laughs> ah! Jonesy. Did you get my message? What do you think I've got under my kilt? You know it. Jonesy, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I better get back. They don't know I'm gone. OK, thanks again. Later. Hi. Hey, have you ever noticed that Charlie's hair isn't cut straight? Uh-oh, I'll be right there. What happened? You've never complained about his hair before. I've decided it's actually his head. It's too big. And whenever he lifts something heavy, he gets this giant purple vein in his neck. I think I'm just gonna have to let him go. Look, Charlie's a great catch. He's cute, and he cried during life's little wrinkles. And the guys love him. Plus, his head's not really that big. What's the matter with your arms? You should look after that. See ya. Ah! I'm missing something here. What is he trying to tell me? Why don't you ask those old dudes? They've probably seen it. Good idea. Ask the old people. Great idea. Dude. Hello, ladies. Hey, 
Jonesy. Thanks. No worries. No one at the restaurant likes it anyway. You mean this lemonade was once up Jonesy's skirt? Hmm? <laughs> ah! Yeah, good call. Caitlin, why don't you remind Nikki what a great guy I am sneaking you cans of lemonade to save your hide? Don't put me in the middle of this. You did commit a serious mistake of the new boyfriend code. What? You told me to change my clothes. No, I, I was just, ah, uh, are all girls this difficult? Just the ones with brains. Okay, fine, I'm taking these back. Oh. Sorry I lost you your gross skirt lemonade. That's okay, nothing overrides a girl's right to her own fashion. So you think the movie was about planting tulips? Wow, not exactly the insight I was hoping for. So my question is, does gardening have anything to do with being together? What is your secret on being together for so long? Nothing better ever came along. Oh, you would. Hmm. So, uh, do you dig old chicks? I don't think this is working. We need a new plan. Right. Like what? Hmm. Disguise yourself as a woman and ask Wayne to explain the movie. Oh man. I always have to dress up like the chick. Excuse me? Gah! I watched Life's Little Wrinkles the other day, and I was wondering... Yeah? What's the message of the movie? Well, I tell you, if you weren't a guy dressed as an old woman, what is with you, dude? It's my fault. I can't figure out what Life's Little Wrinkles was supposed to mean. What the heck kind of recommendation was that anyway? Well, what are you talking about? The movie you gave me. That wasn't the movie you were supposed to watch. It wasn't? No! Why would I tell you to watch that chick flick? So then why'd you give it to me? I didn't! But I have a feeling I know what happened. This is the movie you were supposed to watch. Dumping Amy. You gave him the wrong movie, dude. Oh. This is all your fault? I watched that thing 12 times because of you? All the boxes look the same. <laughs> Do you ever think fries are better than boys? All the time. Can you see who it is? I can't lift up the phone. It's Charlie. Ugh. Let it ring. You're dumping him, aren't you? And I was just starting to like him. And I'm just starting to get feeling back in my arms. <laughs> it's Big Steve. Quick, where can I hide the busted blender? Just play it cool, Caitlin. I'm back. How's the ranch? Uh, um, uh, okay. I'm gonna rustle me up a lemon smoothie. Hope you don't mind. Uh, mind? <laughs> no, I I don't mind. <sighs> ah, blast! Think I busted the blender. Oh well. Oh well? You mean you're not mad? Heck, no. These things only live so long. We were long overdue. I'll pick one up tomorrow. Great! Hey, here's that bonus I promised you. <gasps> Thanks, Big Steve. <laughs> Uh-oh. I thought I might find you here. Yep, here I am. <gasps> Is your phone off? I just tried calling you, honey. No, it's on. But I couldn't pick it up because my arms are like two giant pieces of linguine. Speaking of which, I should eat a big meal. Baseball tryouts are tomorrow. I need the energy. Ah! That's it! No more push-ups and no more big giant head. We're so over. Better hit the road there, sport. When she regains use of her arms, she'll come back swinging. So, who wants to watch Dumping Amy with <gasps> me tonight? Oh, I can't. Sorry, dude. Nope. I'm busy. Oh, come on, guys. Charlie can come, too. No, he can't. I dumped him. Dumped as in dumped? Yes, dumped like a gym bag full of sweaty old gym socks. Dumped. Whoa, but he was so funny. I'm really going to miss that guy, even though he made fun of my chicken legs. Hey, yeah. Where's your skirt? It was a kilt, and I got fired. I accidentally walked over a floor vent. What? How was I supposed to know I couldn't go commando? That is just... you. Enough work talk. What's this? 
It's for you. Something nice that you'd look really good in. <gasps> Aww. Thanks, Jonesy. You know, you're not so bad after all. For a guy. In a skirt. <laughs> Woohoo! Talking to me again. You know it. <laughs> oh, yeah! At this point, I'd take the fries any day.